It's the time again. Today I want to show you how I produce my latest single all night. So let's start with the chords. Like these are the chords for the intro right here. Um, they're the same for the chorus as well, but in the intro they're just a little bit filtered out, you know. I think it, I think it was a vocal that I got from Splice. This vocal is also in the chorus, but in the chorus it's actually normal. So it's not pitched down, it's not like halftime or anything. So this is what it sounds like in the chorus. This is what it sounds like in the intro. So it's pitched down, but it's also halftime, I think. I don't even know what I, you know, all the things that I did to it. Oh yeah, there's halftime on it. So what else is there? There is also the hi-hat. And as some of you might be able to tell, um, there's like something going on with the reverb. So initially I thought like, okay, I want to have like some sort of drum things going on for the intro as well. I did not just want to be the like uh, chords and then the, the vocals be all standalone without any drums. And um, so I just, you know, put the hi-hats in there. And when I did put the hi-hats in there initially, they sounded too static, you know, without any automation. So I thought like, okay, let's put some automation. And that's what it sounds like by itself. So it, it opens up a little bit and then it goes back. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. And all together for the intro as you know it. So I used this stutter thing before the drop. So shout out to Isotope and like the plugins they do, like they're amazing. Whenever you see like this thing go off, it actually like lets all of this instrument section here stutter a little bit. And I thought that was really cool to like make a transition to like first chorus. It's really um, subtle, but... Yeah, and talking about transitions into the first chorus or like just general transitions, you know, coming from like the intro into the chorus or from like the verse into the chorus, I, uh, you know, have the sound effects going on here. Yeah, what else do we have here? Um, let's jump into the chorus. I really like the kick sound here. It's not too punchy, but it still, you know, shines through the mix. Then I added this snare thing. Added this layer, and then there's another layered snare that is just there for the chorus. Open up! You know, we always try to make things bigger in the chorus, so like, that's what it is. And then there is also, obviously, the hi-hat that you already know from the intro, but like, not with no automation on the reverb and stuff. And I also put this hi-hat pattern in there. Wait, let me open up this real quick. So normally this would be something pattern-wise that you would hear in a trap sound, but I felt like oh, it would be interesting to put in a floor to floor type of song. There's also a lot of processing going on here, so it sounds a little bit, you know, not, not as much in your face, but um, that's what it is. Yeah, and that's also the percussion thing. All together. That's the drums. For like instrument wise, like synths and bass, same chords as in the intro. Very cool. I split up the bass synth uh, into two synths. So one synth is more responsible, like the mid range bass, and one is like the sub bass. So this is what the mid range bass sounds like. Very cool, I'm very much, you know, very happy about that, how this sound turned out, together with the sub bass. And then we also have the already talked about vocal thing going on, which is so cool, <laughs> yeah. Very cool, and all together. Yeah, and what about my vocals, right? Bunch of like layers here. All night, it doesn't matter, we're feeling alright. You see my sneakers, they are all white. And all the lights are shining all bright. And so forth. They're like these two, these four tracks are doing like the main line. All night, it doesn't matter, we're feeling alright. 
Then there are the higher harmonies, um, which are very central. All night, it doesn't matter, we're feeling all right. And I also put the these low harmonies in there, um, which were also cool. All night, it doesn't matter, we're feeling all right. All together, you know what it sounds like all together, right? All night, it doesn't matter, we're feeling all right. Okay, let's jump to the verse. In the verse, uh, I stripped down the drums a little bit so the kick is not as intense as and punchy as in the, in the chorus. And what else? Yeah, I, I, I uh, put out the, the layered snare that I already talked about, like this reverb -ish snare that is in the chorus. Yeah, and I kept a regular hi-hat in there, but I put out this trap pattern-ish hi-hat pattern that I have for the chorus, so. I slightly uh, adapted the chords for the verse. I don't remember to which extent I did that. At least like the additional notes that are in the chorus are not in the verse. And I think that made a lot of difference just to like have it a little bit different from the chorus. Yeah, and I also made the mid bass a little bit different. And yeah, my vocals in the verse. That looks very funny, huh? So what I did here and what I tend to do very often whenever I like actually <laughs> I'm not writing down lyrics. I just, you know, make the beat and then I just loop a certain part, you know, and I just record. And uh, then I go to the next part and then I record there. And then uh, this is like, um, like bar for bar kind of like just recording what comes out. <laughs> of my mind basically um i very much like this technique because yeah you might not be able to like come up with the you know highest uh form of lyrical content you know but um you definitely for, for me at least i think it's you can get the vocal delivery is just better you know you're very much in the moment when you're recording and like the vibe gets across way better you know if you ask me so i have like the main line here but also some backings and ad libs Hop in, let's get it. Feel free a minute. Good times we live in and don't know no limit. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say there's a synth melody that I added. It's not just there in like the second half of the verse, but also the second half of the chorus. For the second half of the chorus, you can barely hear it, but I just put it in there like to make it uplift a little bit, just to have like a little bit of a build up there. This is what it sounds like. It's right here. It's also filtered. So it slowly, you know, introduces the chorus. And then there is this um, kind of break in the drums where I just put out certain parts of the snare and the kick just to prepare the listener for what's about to come for the chorus, you know? And that's basically it. There's not much, you know, there's not much difference uh, from like in between the different choruses in the song. So there's no no elements added. And um, also like, I don't think I changed much for like the second verse section. So I kept it very simple with that song. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it needs, you know, simplicity. And for the second verse, I kind of used the same technique. So I recorded bar for bar and then I added the uh, backings and the ad libs and, you know, the second verse vocals sound like this. Bottles on the floor, baby wants some more, yeah we got the cure, bringing his galore. So let's listen to that transition in regards of how the chords switch up and the bass. I think that turned out very cool. And so forth. And then let's listen to the transition into the last chorus, which I also think is really cool. I do what I do and I do living just for life No fake gimmick and that's why it feels so right All night It doesn't matter we're feeling alright yeah, so that's pretty much it for this song. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you still enjoy these deconstructed videos that I'm trying to do for every song I'm putting out. I would really appreciate it if you guys like hit up my Spotify and follow me there and put the song to your playlist. You know, this helps a lot. Also, you know, you can follow me on all the socials. Also, you know, you can subscribe to this channel. And there's even another channel that I'm going to link in the description, you know, that is dedicated to producer content only. Ah. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your day. Take care and see you guys soon. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to drop an EP later this year. I'm trying to drop it in two months or something. So there will be a lead single, then there will be this song, there will be another song, and there will probably be a remix of All Night, that song that we just, you know, looked into. So that's it. <laughs>